Hello, everyone. Um, Hui Ming Zhang, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm Hui Ming Zhang, a senior engineer uh, from a China Nuclear Power Engineering Company. And uh, my presentation is about a micro uh, gas cooled nuclear reactor. Uh, I, uh, the following part will be discussed, including the background motivation, why we choose model uh, model development, test simulation, and the summary and outlook. First, uh, background. Nowadays, the micro uh, nuclear reactor is a hot research topic in world nuclear industry. And uh, 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 this has wide applications such as uh, uh, supplying electricity or heat or steam in remote area uh, with poor traffic, uh, uh, for example, island. Uh, and also, uh, because it's high energy density, it can provide energy in the space uh, exploration. And uh, uh, another important issue is the climate change and the culture, uh, carbon uh, neutrality. Uh, now it's a, a global concern uh, because uh, the nuclear energy is much more stable than other forms of uh, renewable energy, so it can be used as the base load. Uh, in this paper, I will uh, talk about uh, the modeling and simulation of uh, concept design. Uh, yes, this design is at a very preliminary uh, stage. Uh, uh, we use a gas cooled micro reactor and the simulation platform is the uh, MWorks, which is developed by Suzhou Tongyuan uh, company, a Chinese company. And uh, uh, here uh, I want to discuss about why choosing the Medallica. Because uh, uh, let's look at the large nuclear plant first, and uh, uh, it's a super engineering. Uh, uh, consists of uh, usually 100 systems and uh, a lot of legacy uh, simulation code are quite major for the subsystem design, but uh, most of, the, of this legacy simulation codes are de uh, were developed uh, maybe 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So uh, this code uh, usually uh, simulate uh, one subsystem or a few phenomena. And, uh, but for a uh, normal design, such as like, uh, the, this gas cooled uh, nuclear micro uh, reactor, we have some novel designs and uh, we have new equipment. Uh, 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 so we need to develop uh, some new models uh, and uh, the legacy simulation code cannot uh, well suited for, for this kind of uh, uh, analysis. And uh, uh, this, this uh, gas cooled nuclear reactor we developed it is a very simplified design. It uh, has uh, uh, fewer systems and it has a good inherent uh, safety performance. The core melting cannot be uh, happen uh, because uh, and, and uh, the safety is guaranteed by, by several features. For, for example, the we use a better and a stronger uh, coated fuel particles like this. And this uh, fuel particle can uh, withstand uh, uh, stand very high temperature and uh, uh, will not damage. And uh, uh, also because of the total uh, nuclear power, uh, heat power is uh, much smaller than the large one. So the, the uh, decay heat of the power can be uh, removed passively by the air convection through the reactor pressure vessel wall. And also because all the, it's have a, a, a integrated design, all these uh, subsystems are totally coupled. So we need uh, uh, to, to better simulate uh, this, this coupling issue and uh, uh, the, the multidiscipline simulation must be performed so that we choose Modelica. Uh, here is the, uh, the, the uh, Modelica model we developed. It, it includes the reactors, uh, 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 heat engines, uh, and uh, uh, we use the helium uh, as the coolant. And the helium heated by the reactor and then enters into the heat engine. 
the heat engine use the written cycle uh, 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 helium engine, and uh, then the heat converted to the uh, uh, mechanical uh, power, and then the mechanical power they will con uh, convert it uh, to the electricity power, electrical power by the generator. Uh, and uh, also the heat sink connected to the heat engine uh, and provide, provide the uh, coolant uh, water of the heat engine. And uh, also some uh, control systems such as like the power control system or or uh, shutdown a protection system uh, are, are simply uh, modeled in this model. Now uh, it, it's a uh, vector uh, uh, sketch uh, you can see. Uh, uh, the vector core is composed of uh, 13, 36 fuel bricks, this square uh, bricks. And uh, uh, and uh, here, inner uh, this uh, inner reflector assembly and uh, the, the outer reflector assembly surrounded the, the core. Uh, the, the, it is the uh, green uh, color, in the green color, uh, which is the graphite. And uh, the few uh, few uh, uh, particles, the, the uranium and uh, few, uh, is dispersed in this orange. Uh, uh, the so solid region uh, mixed with graphite and uh, the, this green, uh, the, this holes are, are the flow channel, the helium can flow inside it. And uh, uh, due to the psionometry, so we, we model the one quarter of the uh, region in this thermal hydraulic modeling. And uh, uh, each uh, the, 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 the reflector, the fuel bricks, and the, uh, the core barrel, which is a steel, made by steel, and the, the, the vessel, reactor pressure vessel, and the external air cooling, and also the, the, the uh, uh, plenum, inlet and outlet uh, helium plenum are modeled here. Uh, uh, this is the normalization of the fuel region. Uh, there are 13 lateral nodes, uh, each represent a brick. Uh, uh, and the fuel brick are divided into five segments uh, anxiously. Therefore, there are 65 blocks of each contains a solid fuel block and a flow segment. Uh, we use a parallel uh, uh, flow channel uh, to to just one one flow uh, flow pipe, but uh, it, it uh, represents the parallel flow channel uh, channels. And uh, each solid fuel brick uh, have a heat source which receives nuclear heat power, and uh, the heat heat conduction uh, at the, the of the, the, the three dimensional uh, effect are, are, are modeled here also. Uh, here, uh, this slide uh, gave a uh, simple instruction about uh, the uh, reactor physics. We, we use the point uh, uh, reactor kinetic model here. Uh, uh, as you can see, the, the nuclear heat uh, power rate N is related to the uh, reactivity rho. If the, uh, this term uh, is larger than zero, the uh, nuclear uh, rate, uh, nuclear power rate will increase. If it's uh, negative, then the, the power decreases. And uh, the reactivity uh, consists of four parts, the uh, initial uh, reactivity, the, the Temperature reactivity and uh, the point, uh, the signal uh, reactivity, and uh, also the the, the, the external uh, reactivity. Which which one? Uh, this external reactivity is uh, uh, can can be changed uh, by by the control drum, can be tuned by the control drum. Here is the control control drum drum control drum, 
uh, one side of control drama is the neutron uh, absorber. Uh, if the neutron absorber is uh, uh, far away from the core, then the uh, few uh, less neutron was absorbed, so the reactivity increased. But if the uh, neutron absorber face uh, uh, near near the uh, reactive field, the more neutron will be absorbed, so it decreases. And by changing the angle of this, uh, uh, by, by rotating it, we can change the, this, this term. And also there is a, another important uh, issue is that uh, the, the, the fuel temperature reactivity it's a function of the fuel temperature. And uh, because the, the co this coefficient is negative, so it uh, gives a very good uh, uh, safety feature. Uh, if the fuel temperature rise, then uh, the, the, this term decreases. So, so it, it's, a, a, it's a, a, safe, a safety feature. Uh, and then uh, this is about the physics. And then uh, the model about the heat engine. The heat engine system, uh, uh, we use a direct uh, helium beaten cycle. Uh, uh, and uh, this system uh, uh, composed gas turbine, two, uh, two compressors, and uh, uh, the heat exchanger such as uh, intercooler, pre-cooler, and uh, recuperators. And uh, in this modeling, we use uh, the thermal power library used uh, in, in this modeling. Now I want to, uh, I will give an introduction about the, the test simulation. First is the accident, extreme accident. Uh, this accident, the assumption is that the, the, uh, the, it happens after the reactor works at full power for it. 18 hours. And at this time, uh, we, we assume that the, the, all the control drum rotated to the most dangerous uh, position, introducing the maximum reactivity. Or you can think uh, all the control, like the, all the control rod withdraw from the core. Uh, uh, it should be mentioned that this is a very conservative uh, assumption. Uh, not realistic, uh, just for a test calculation. And uh, uh, also at this time, the heat engine shut down and the helium flow rate uh, drops to zero. It means the, the nuclear, the, the heat generated in the core cannot be uh, removed by the uh, helium uh, coolant flow. The simulation result is here. You can see uh, as the control of the withdraw, yeah, uh, the, 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 because the, the, the reactivity sharply increased, so the, the power rate uh, sharply uh, dropped up uh, about 1.8 times of the, the, the full power. Uh, and then caused the uh, fuel temperature rise uh, very rapidly. Because the temperature rise, uh, right, right. Uh, because the temperature uh, raised, and uh, then the uh, it will give the uh, negative feedback of the reactivity, and then the the the, the fission uh, reactor fission uh, stopped, uh, uh, becomes zero. And uh, and this time, because the the heat uh, generated in the core still can be removed by the uh, air cooling outside the reactor pressure vessel. So uh, this, uh, as illustrated in this, this curve, so the reactor temperature decreases again, and then at some time, uh, uh, it went uh, critical again. And uh, finally, it uh, achieved a stable, uh, it is uh, stable achieved. And, uh, uh, the, the, the residue heat removed by the uh, air cooling is equal to the total power generated in the core. This is the first one. And then uh, uh, it's a, a load falling case. Uh, we assume the electricity demand fluctuates 
from 50% to 100%. And uh, oh, oh I, I will pin fast. Okay. 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 Uh, and uh, the control strategy is uh, uh, by use uh, by by adjusting uh, helium pressure uh, by using a timetable. Another uh, uh, method is. Uh, and uh, is uh, by using a PID controller to keep the core outlet temperature at uh, uh, this uh, fixed uh, uh, temperature and uh, uh, changing the the draw position. And uh, here is the, the result. You can see uh, this this output power uh, is almost. Uh, uh, it's quite quite uh, uh, the same as the demand power in this feature, and uh, we we just uh, change the helium pressure, and uh, uh, and uh, all the, the helium temperature at the uh, core inlet outlet uh, almost uh, kept as constant, and uh, the power generation efficiency is uh, uh, is uh, is also quite stable. And uh, we also made a DMU here uh, by by using the UDP interface to to create a DMU and uh, all the important uh, uh, values such as the the, 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 the control drum rotation can be can be uh, visualized here uh, and the summary outlook uh, the first one. Uh, Modelica model has been uh, established in this work, and uh, multi disciplines is included. And uh, two test uh, simulation carried out, and uh, it seems quite reasonable. Uh, but uh, 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 many simplification has been taken, and uh, such like the cost modelization of the direct cost, so more re re uh, verification and calibration will be carried out. And the outlook, uh, the first one is uh, we, uh, uh, I think uh, it's better to perform a core simulation with a high fidelity CFD code uh, in future, uh, uh, to, to uh, especially for this heat transfer issue, heat conduction issue. And uh, another thing is the hybrid energy system consists of a nuclear reactor and other uh, renewable power facility is also uh, quite uh, popular nowadays. And the uh, simulation of this system, uh, I think it's better to use the Modelica. And uh, this is our next uh, work, I think. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay.